Well, ladies and gentlemen, as leader of the party, and despite the fact one or two of my critics will tell you that I'm the modern-day Machiavelli, and that I'm a totalitarian, uh, when it comes to party discipline, I have no influence or power at all. That all rests with Steve as the chairman and the National Executive Committee. I've known Godfrey a very long time, and a long time uh, before UKIP, and we've had a lot of fun together. Uh, but increasingly over the last few months, uh, his pronouncements and statements have left us in a position where, frankly, uh, what we stand for and what we campaign for are irrelevant. Because all anyone wants to know is Godfrey's latest comment. Uh, I've had very sharp words with him about it. Uh, there have been one or two incidents today, uh, and Steve, you can tell Steve was a PR man, because he said it's conditioned our media coverage. There is no media coverage of this conference. It's gone. It's dead. It's all about Godfrey hitting a journalist and using an unpleasant four-letter word. It's gone. And we can't put up with it. And I said to you earlier, <laughs> we cannot have any one individual, however fun or flamboyant or entertaining or amusing they are, we cannot have any one individual destroying UKIP's national conference. And that is what he's done today. And I'm sad about that, but we can't tolerate it and we have to act. And Steve has done the right thing. I said this morning, I said this morning, we will not be cowed by political correctness and nor will we. And I want people to push the boundaries of debate, but we have to do it in a manner that is seen to be civilized. And if people step over that line, then frankly, we have no option. And I'm sorry that uh, my particular contribution to this day um, ends uh, discussing this particular issue, uh, but it would have been quite wrong and a con not to talk to you about it, given what's been going on behind the scenes over the last few hours. Uh, but that's life, isn't it? We all know that all of life is a couple of steps forward and one back, and we have our little difficulties. The fact that much of what was discussed today won't make the newspapers tomorrow is very sad. But the point is, everything that was discussed and shown to you today is there way beyond the fish and chip paper that will emerge by next Monday. And what this party has done today is two things. Firstly, we have set a very clear course towards those European elections in eight months' time and the, county, and the uh, council elections that take place on the same day. And we have staked our claim that we intend to go out there and win those elections. That was important, very important. And the second thing we did today, you would have noticed that none of the new policy pronouncements came from me. They came from our new spokesman on a whole range of issues. And they were innovative and they were thoughtful and they were things that Tim, you know, has worked on and with to make happen. And what I've showed today, what I've showed today is that this is not a one man band. This is not a one man party. I'm the leader of this party, but increasingly I have a team around me of professional, competent people and people with real experience of life out there in the real world, in contrast to our political class, and a team for UKIP is developing, and I'm happy with that, and I'm proud of it, and I'm proud of all the people that support us, the secretary, the director, uh, the treasurer, uh, all the people holding offices in UKIP, frankly, are doing us proud. So don't be downcast by a difficulty that's occurred today. I'm a little bit downcast by it short term, but overall, feel confident that you are in the fastest growing and the most extraordinary political insurgency that has happened in this country for a century. And in my view, we've only just begun. Thank you very much indeed.